Hello again, I am Jim Bob, and welcome back to F1 Manager Challenge Mode. Uh, it's round 19 of our second season. We're heading to Cota, the Circuit of the Americas in Texas. And I'm really hoping that our luck is going to change, because it's been a bit erratic over the past half a dozen races or so. Ever since the mid-season break, we've been um, making a lot of unnecessary, unforced mistakes on track. And I'm really hoping really hoping that that's going to kind of just ease off a little bit and that we'll finally uh, start getting some really solid results we did actually um have a strong result in the last race uh i think oh, am i mixing this up with i might be mixing this up with williams uh let's uh let's actually have a look see how we did in the last race because i honestly can't remember it was uh, a wet suzuka how did we do we won Yay! We did have a strong race in the last result with Felipe. I remember it was a bit of a nightmare for Freddy. Um, but yeah, we we did get a win, but we had promise of both cars performing very well. And uh, yeah, the second car just kind of failed up, fell by the wayside a little bit. So hopefully we can get both cars having a strong result uh, tonight. That would be uh, that would be ideal. So uh, let's uh, let's crack on, shall we? Uh, evening Marcel, good to see you. Uh, let's have a look at car development. Uh, we just did a brand new part, didn't we? And I think we were waiting till after Kota for the next... Yeah, three days. The next... Uh, 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 hours allocation is uh, is, in, is after this Grand Prix so uh, once we've done this race we will uh, start building or start uh, researching uh, a new rear wing for next season's car uh, which will probably be our final season given that uh, F123 uh, F1 manager 23 has now been announced still no further details yet uh, other than the announcement but uh, this uh, you know, next season may well be the final season of Challenge Mode. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see when the release window is. We might burn through season three really quickly and have time for a fourth season, uh, which I wouldn't be against. You know how much I'm enjoying this game. So let's go ahead and set up some performance targets for tonight. Uh, I honestly don't know how our car is going to fare here. Uh, let's take a look at the car analysis. Uh, our speed is pretty decent. Uh, our cornering is very, very good. Um, not so good in the low speed, though, and that could be a little bit of a problem because Kota does have quite a lot of low speed corners, as you can see. It's a real mix of high and low speed, and there's only one medium speed corner, and that's uh, coming up to the end of sector one. So, yeah, I think... Part of the circuit will be pretty strong. Part of the circuit will be middle of the pack. Uh, and our speed's about middle of the pack as well. So I don't think we'll be on for a win. Uh, but I do think we'll be in with a chance of maybe sneaking a podium. Uh, it depends on the weather. Uh, do we have a weather report? It's going to be a dry race. Okay, that's probably a good thing. Let's set up some targets then. Uh, we're going to try and get one of our cars into Q3. I'm not sure if we've got the pace for both. Play it on the safe side for that one. Uh, we are definitely going to get both into Q2. Finish position is the guarantee. Yeah, sorry, is the incentive. We're going to guarantee the fastest lap because I think on a one lap push we can probably do that. And we should manage to do those streaks no problem at all. Do I have enough spare parts for the Grand Prix? Uh, assuming I don't bin it, yes I do, which is good. So, uh, final check, make sure we've got no points to spend before the Grand Prix. No, everyone is uh, hot to trot, good to go, etc, etc. Right, let's uh, head over to Kota. Welcome to the United States Grand Prix. We're in Austin, but there are no wild cowboys on the track this weekend. Just some serious horsepower. It's sure to be a race to remember. 
The Circuit of the Americas has it all. Twists and turns, steep climbs, fast corners, and a power-hungry sector two. Quite a headache to balance, even if teams will be looking at maximizing downforce overall. With the season nearly concluded, time is running out for the team. Can anyone make a last minute breakthrough? Can the leading drivers hold on? Only time will tell. There's nothing like a race weekend in Formula One. Okay, so uh, just four races in left in the season. Uh, this is the first of those four. After here, we go to Mexico, then Brazil, and then finish the season at Abu Dhabi. So uh, if we want to hang on to uh, to fourth and even challenge for third, which we are not that far away from doing, then we definitely need a strong result uh, in as many of these remaining Grand Prix as possible. Uh, I probably should have had a look at to see how good Mercedes are at the moment. Never mind. Uh, we can have a look before the next Grand Prix. Uh, we're going to get our run plans, etc. set first of all. Okay, let's take a look at our uh, slider setups. I've got a lot of different setups to choose from for Kota. Okay, so it's looking like uh, higher wing on the rear on this car, lower front wing on this car. Uh, okay, let's swap out the parts as well before I forget to do that. Uh, so we'll go with practice engines. There we go. Nice little supply of engines there for uh, Felipe. And we're pretty good on gearboxes as well, for the most part. There we go. So that is... Yeah, both cars configured with uh, some practice parts. Evening Jason, Farak, good to see you guys. Uh, right, let's get these cars uh, prepped for the track. Uh, so I'm going to start with... A 13, 5, an 8.5. No, just an 8 on that one. Uh, let's go with a 3, 7. Uh, a 3.45 and a 0. And let's see how that works. And then for Felipe's car, we'll go with a 13 rear wing. Uh, we'll go with a 9.5 on the front. A two eight, a three point two five, and a point zero five. There we go. So a couple of very different setups there. Let's see which one is going to work. Ready to check. Ready to check. Okay, should be green now. There we go. Right. Uh, so, good news. Uh, today is the first day in a while that I've woken up without having some rather nasty chest pains. Uh, which is good. I think I'm finally on the mend. I've actually felt pretty good for most of the day. I'm not 100% yet, but I definitely feel like I'm on the mend. Uh, it's been a, a rough week and a half uh, or so. Um, no doubt over the last few weeks you've heard me coughing a lot on my... Uh, on my streams i've tried to mute it on occasion but um uh last week beginning of last week when i started to feel really uh, really rough i was getting pains all across my chest and uh i was noticing uh, some some blood in my spittle as well and i was a bit Ugh. Uh, and i just kind of put it off and put it off and i didn't go and get it checked out and then finally saturday i had to go 
had to call an ambulance and went to the hospital, had all the, all the checks and stuff done and uh, came back okay. Uh, no, no major issues. Uh, they think I might have just uh, burst a blood vos- vessel in my throat from a lot of excess coughing. Uh, but yeah, today you feel pretty good. You know, uh, not quite 100%, as I say, but uh, definitely bouncing back. So hopefully I'll, I'll have kicked whatever this is in the next day or two. Uh, very contrasting fortunes for our two drivers here. Uh, Freddy's car needs a lot of work. Felipe's is pretty good. Oh, and Freddy's crashed. Let's take a closer What's he done? Let's have a look here. This was the oh, he's locked up at this turn, hasn't he? That is not good. And that is worrying because if he's going to lock up in this early into practice, oh, I should have called him to the pits. If he's going to lock up in this early into practice, then uh, that's not a good sign. What other damage do we have? Uh, minor chassis damage. Well, we'll just have to live with that. Can't do anything about it. But yeah, for those of you who weren't around yesterday when I was uh, just explaining my fun weekend, uh, that's why I wasn't streaming on Friday. I just wasn't very well. Um, and then uh, that's why I was a little bit subdued yesterday. Just uh, you know, trying to get back into a, a good, a good space, you know, uh, physically. Right, I think those changes are probably good enough. Assuming we're going the right way with some of these, let's uh, go ahead and confirm those changes. Right, we do need to trim the front wing a little bit, I think, to uh, sort out that rear wing. And let's do that with the toe as well. Alright, so Freddy's back on track. There goes Felipe. And let's see if these changes are going to bring the results that we want. A little flash of a yellow flag there. Looks like someone had a little run wide, perhaps. Or maybe it's just uh, us causing traffic jams. It might well be that, <laughs> thinking about it. I haven't seen any notifications for anyone running wide. All right, feedback from Freddy's coming. Let's have a look. 79. Oh, so we've improved, but not by enough. Not by a long shot. We only improved by 12%. Uh, still a lot of work needed. Uh, we're going to let him run to the flag because he did have a slightly shorter run on that first stint because he crashed what about Felipe
95. Oh, so we only improved by 1%. Ah, that's not great. Okay, uh, well, we can call him in. Yeah, he's uh, done enough. And um, we'll call Freddy in as well. The checkered flag is now out. Here we go. So, still some work to do. Uh, yes, I, I, I mentioned that yesterday. Uh, that uh, And actually, just before you came on the stream as well, that uh, uh, 23 has been announced uh, on Twitter, but nothing else yet. Uh, I did actually stick a... Uh, a screenshot of the of their tweets on Friday after the stream. Uh, I saw it on Twitter and immediately stuck it on my community tab. But yeah, they've not released any further information yet. I have uh, signed up for the uh, more info emails. So I'm going to get spammed with all sorts of stuff from Frontier now. But uh, yeah, it's it, I'll, I'll take that hit so I can get the info out to you guys as soon as I get it. Really hoping there's going to be some big, big changes. Um, they've got to improve sprint, uh, include sprints. You know, I mean, they're ramping up sprints to six this season. So uh, I can kind of understand why they didn't put them in last time, but you know, doubling the number of sprints this year, they've kind of got to put them in. They're now a, quite a substantial part of the calendar. Uh, what else can I tweak? Let's try... I need to go that way, don't I? So let's... Let's try doing that. And see how that works. Yeah, yeah I'll go with that. And as for Freddy, ooh, okay, so the roll bar is very much wrong, so that needs to be a 2.8. And we're not too far away with everything else. Let me try doing that. We're going to go with medium tyres for this session, I think. Oh, should I keep? No, I'm going to keep a set of extra mediums. So we're going to go with softs, and we're going to basically uh, try and keep a spare set of mediums for uh, for the next session uh, get, getting the sectors right to yes yeah oh god knows that's one of my bugbears and the number of times I bitch and gripe about that every time it flags up the incorrect sector it just drives me nuts and I'm trying to find out where the uh, where the, the fault on track is and it's never where they say it is it's like, oh, crash at corner one, and it's, you know, corner 11, and it's corner one, you know. Just stupid little typos, you know, things like that. Someone held their finger down on the one button just that little bit too long, and then never bothered to jack it. And there's so many things, so many silly little things that that never got picked up on, or, you know, got picked up on, and they just couldn't be bothered to fix, you know. I mean, they don't break the game in any way, but it's just, it just reeks of sloppiness. And I get that, oh God, no, not Felipe as well. Sheesh. That's the same corner as Freddy crashed, I think. All right, so I'm gonna have to manufacture some parts because I'm now, oh, he's out, oh, great. Yeah, I no longer have spare chassis, <laughs> and uh, I no longer have uh, enough spare front wings either. Yeah, that's exactly what Freddy did. Ugh. I'm now getting very worried about uh, about our driver's performance in the Grand Prix. They've both locked up at that corner, and one of them has wrecked the car. The other one just bent the car a bit. That's not encouraging. So I'm I'm expecting another race of uh, 
driver shenanigans, I think, is the best way to put it. Hopefully, we'll see other drivers in other teams making mistakes like that as well. But so far, we're the only ones to have had a lockup or a spin or or anything. Oh, there we go. Yes. Someone else has crashed. It's not just us. Which reminds me, I forgot to do that. There we go. Uh, who crash. else crashed? Sounds Norris. Like car. Let's have a look. Watch this. We're looking at Lando Norris. Improved weather and AI, some sort of difficulty option slider. Yes, those are definitely things that need to be looked at. Uh, difficulty definitely needs to be higher because it's just too easy. Uh, I want the ability to um, change teams uh, as a minimum. You know, if I can't create my own team, then I at least want the ability to change teams. Uh, so I can, you know, spend a few seasons managing one team and then go to a different team, you know. As, a, as an absolute minimum. Uh, what I would also like would be the ability, and I doubt this will get put in, but it'd be nice, would be the ability to um, teleport forward a few years before you start. So it just pre-generates, you know, um, results for X number of seasons. So you can start at, say, 2030. So you're not always starting from 2023. I seriously doubt that'll happen. Um, given that this is going to be an annual franchise, but that would be a nice thing. So I could at least skip over the first couple of seasons and get to some of those younger drivers and put them straight in, in, into a team car position uh, rather than having to go through the rigmarole of going through like two seasons of, um, of just going round the tracks until I can actually get the drivers I want at the right age into the cars. Just, that would be huge for me. You know, whether that'll happen or not, I don't know. I see, like I said, given that this is going to be an annual franchise, I highly doubt it, but I can, I can but hope. I am wondering as well, because um, I can't remember. I know this is made in Unreal. They did initially start it in their their in-house engine, and then about halfway through development, they switched over to Unreal. I don't know if this is Unreal 4 or 5, um, but they are. I did actually have a look on their website earlier today um, at their job listings just to see if I could see any hints uh, about what's being worked on for the F1 manager stuff and they are looking for an, um, an experienced Unreal engineer um, for F1, specifically for F1 manager. So if this one's in uh, Unreal 4, I really hope the next one's in Unreal 5. But we'll have to see. I don't know if that is going to be the case or not. It might be this one's in on Real 5. I honestly don't know, but I, I think it's 4. We've had a crash! Get a flag. Yeah, come through. There were a couple of other F1 postings off the top, um, off the top of my head. I can't remember what they are, but there are a couple of other F1-specific um, 
positions that they are recruiting for as well. So they're definitely looking to expand the team. Or at least bring in, you know, better talent for the team. Thank you for joining us. Right, I've got some partial feedback. And it's still not good. Oh, I am struggling to get this car set up. Alright, let me try that. <clears throat> uh, let's go. 16 lap runs, we're going to go with... Uh, actually, you no, know, this is going to be... Freddy's only real run, isn't it? So let's go 19 laps, that should be enough. Uh, Felipe's going to have to do at least two runs. Um, I'm going to go 16 laps. Uh, depends on how well his car gets optimized and that doesn't tell me anything at all <laughs> so uh, he really didn't do much at all before he crashed it's not very helpful oh uh, speaking of let me check uh, it's nearly wiped out another gearbox car parts uh, chassis uh, yes here we go so I need to uh, emergency manufacture two chassis All right, let's just go ahead and make it three just in case <laughs> still quality to go yet uh, there we go so both cars are back on the up-to-date chassis I'm gonna need some spare front wings let's emergency manufacture two of those it's just as well I've got all this uh, money that I can't spend isn't it uh, rear wings were still okay side parts were still okay under floors were still fine suspensions still fine didn't break a suspension that's good to know All right, final practice. What are we looking at? Six months away, less than that. Um, if I remember rightly, this game came out towards the, the latter part of August. So I would expect um, something similar with this. So we're what, three months away? God, no. Uh, okay, he's not putting it in the wall. Ah, oh, dear. <clears throat> Sounds like someone's I'm going to be gob a drink and sort of nearly spat the damn thing out. I'm like, seriously? Let's see what happened there. So this was the Aston Martin. They that is not turn 20. That's, that's turn that's one. Oh, my God. Drives me nuts. Uh, we're at 97% for Felipe. That's pretty good. So a small little tweak and I can get him there. Assuming I tweak the right way. Uh, we'll finish the run. Make the change. Get him back on the set of fresh tyres. Uh, what about Felipe? Uh, about Freddy? Well, that feedback came in really quick for Felipe. not complaining but yeah that was very quick eighty seven still nowhere 
doing any more. And I have to run them again. Oh, this car is a nightmare to set up. Okay, so uh, let me think. That's got to go up to an eight, or at least that far away. Uh, that will impact everything else. Let me have a look at my my book. See if this matches anything in the book. Always close to something in the book. Uh, <clears throat> eight thirteen two eight three five four point forty five. So this is a setup that has been a hundred percent before. So hopefully it is this time, because uh, I'm, running, I'm running out of time. Uh, let's put some new tyres on. I'm going to have two sets of tyres for Quali. Isn't ideal. But we will have that extra set of mediums for the Grand Prix, which is probably a bit more important. Assuming my guys stay on track long enough to actually use those uh, extra tyres. Try that. I can't remember which way I went last time, so I don't know if that is the wrong way or not. So Freddy's already at 100% on track knowledge. This is purely just to get the car set up, which is proving extremely difficult right now. Uh, for Felipe, this is just to try and confirm the setup to 100, which is close, and also to get his track knowledge up. We need to get that up to oh, over 90%, I think. I don't think we're going to get the full 15 out of 15 for Felipe. Not unless by some chance we can get the car knowledge up to 100 in the last 19 minutes. Which we might be able to do. Someone's oh, don't be one of mine. Don't be one of mine. Nope, both my guys are still moving. I think there's been contact on the track. Let's take a look at the replay. Okay, so there we have the LP. So that's Vettel and Ocon. Oh no! And there's the crash! Mark my words, there'll be questions asked about that later. Someone spun out. Here's the replay. For now watch this. Lewis Hamilton involved in this one. They lose it there. That's the spin. Get you your uh, nightly fix of Schadenfreude. Uh, 91 again backwards. Oh. 
No, we're not going uh, backwards. We're going up very, very slowly. <laughs> Still not where it needs to be. So I'm going to have to just gamble on the setup for this car then. Because I haven't got time to fix it and send it back out again. Uh, it's going to have to be a 1.9. Which means that has got to go to about there. Ooh, okay, so um, I do have a couple of one nines. One of them is an 8.5. 13, 1.9, 3.5, 0.45. Got to gamble on that. That's about all I can do. Come on, Felipe. Oh, I went the wrong way. Okay. Well, I can <clears throat> I can change that. And again, we'll, we'll kind of have to gamble a little bit with Felipe for his quali setup as well. <laughs> this isn't good. This is the first time I've gone into quali not knowing where either driver's setup is, is actually going to be. Um, I mean, I've gone in with just one car not quite there and gambling, but never both. So let's go that way. Now I'm worried I'm going to break the front wing. Uh, okay, let me revert back to a 97. So that is optimal. So I want to go that way, and I think that is too much. So let me go to a 9, and then do that. Pull that back. Hopefully I haven't broken the traction. Yeah, it's a gamble. It's a real gamble. Uh, and did we gamble on the changes already? Yes, we did. Okay, so uh, let's put in some good stuff. Uh, where are we going? Mexico and Sao Paulo need a good, strong engine for both of those two circuits. So we'll go with this engine um, for this race. And that engine for Felipe uh, ERS module that one will be fine as will that one and gearbox will go with that one and that one and that is as good as we can make it so let's go qualify Now, because I can only do one run. I'm going to go at the very end of the session. I just hope that the AI does not dick me over with the uh, cars going out and not even be having enough time to cross the line to set a lap like it has done in the last couple of Grand Prix. is about as big a risk as I'm willing to take timing wise So, touch wood, we're going to make it through comfortably into the next session. 
but if Freddy has another big lockup, he could take out both my cars before they even cross the line and, and uh, complete their flying lap. And if Felipe goes off, then it might yellow flag Freddy and slow him down a bit too much. We should still be able to get through, but yeah, it's not, it's not an ideal situation. But with only two sets of softs, we've got to be really sparing because these tyres get eaten up so quickly on this circuit. I probably should have kept an extra set of me uh, hards instead of mediums. But I didn't think about it. That's what I normally do. Normally keep a, a second set of hards. Alright, so far so good. They've both got past the corner where they've uh, binned it. Uh, got a yellow flag somewhere behind us. Someone's gone wide there. That's not sector three. It's turn three. Oh. I'm not even going to bother. <laughs> it's, it's never going to get fixed. Just ranting for the sake of ranting now. All right, coming up to the line. What times can we set? Okay, pretty good. That's encouraging. So again, it's not why, you know, not front row pace, not race winning pace, which is not what I expected anyway, but, you know, potential for podium pace. We're, we're up there with Leclerc. Oh, no, wait, we're not. <laughs> Leclerc's just gone faster. Uh, we're up there with Norris. OK, so we're, and yeah, now we're behind Hamilton as well. See these guys getting a second run, so... Are they on fresh tyres? Yeah, they went out on fresh tyres for the second run. In fact, we've won three lap stints and we've used up 20% of the tyre life. That's uh, not ideal. Uh, the Red Bulls do have penalties. Uh, so that might explain why they are so much quicker. Let me have a look. At their stuff. Yeah, fresh engine this weekend for Verstappen. And a fresh ERS as well by the look of it. And a fresh engine for Perez. Yeah, no wonder they are. You know, uh, you know, half a second quicker than the Ferraris. Right. I don't know if I can squeak through. Oh, 99% and 96%. So we actually slightly got worse uh, with Felipe's car. It's yeah, it's as good as it's going to get. Unfortunately, I can't change it now. But we did get Freddy pretty much there, which is good to see considering that was the one that was giving me an absolute nightmare. So, tyres are set. Let's go out and do a, an initial run. Radio check. Radio check. Yeah, it's green now. Magnuson's going to get in the way. That's not too bad. That's uh, scrub tyres for uh, Verstappen as well. Everyone's going to go out on scrubs initially, I think. Um, yep, everyone's going out on scrubs. So, uh, now it's a gamble. Do I stay where I am? And try and hold back a set of tyres. Or do I go out on newer tyres? 
Hmm. Choices, choices. I think, given who's still yet to set a time, and how much time can be gained, yeah, it's a big amount of time to find on new tyres. We've got to make, we've got to make that. So we'll have to go out again at the end of the session and uh, do a glory run. Just because I don't think Freddy will get through otherwise and even Felipe is not 100% safe. So the map just ahead of everyone else, just in case there's another yellow flag, which won't that way won't affect our lap. This is another big thing that needs to be improved upon is the timings. I want to see sector improvements. So when you're watching qualifying on TV. You see whether someone's up or down on the target lap based on the, you know each individual sector. I want to see that in this. I want to be able to see, you know, is my sector time up rather than just seeing what I did in the sector. I want to see how much up or down I am on, on the pole lap or if I'm down below, you know, closer to the drop zone how close I am to you know or how much further ahead or below the drop the safety point is so in this case p10 Hamilton's time that's what I want to see in the game that has to go in I'm disappointed it wasn't in this and I I, I definitely want to see that in the next installment Because at the moment, I can see that both my drivers are improving, but I have no idea how much by. I don't know if I'm a tenth up, half a second up, a second up. I'm just up. That's all I know. And that's not enough. Not enough information. All right. Up to the line. Good session. Big improvement. Very big improvement. All right, we've got one of the McLarens coming up. Let's see which one it is. Norris. Oh, wow. Look at Verstappen's time, two hours. That's massive. Yeah, we absolutely would have got knocked out if we uh, hadn't gone again. But that is encouraging pace. I mean, yeah, we're miles off the Red Bulls with their brand new shiny engines of uh, supreme power. But we're right up there with uh, Hamilton and Russell. And we are ahead of Leclerc and Sainz. That is very encouraging. Very encouraging. So we are in a fight for third place. Because, yeah, those two rebels are going to be at the back of the grid. But given how much faster they are than everybody else, they're going to work their way through that field really quickly. So, we should have been given a new set of tyres. We have. Uh, we're going to set uh, a flying lap on those new tyres at the end of the session. We're not going to run until the end of the session. I want to try and keep some life on those other tyres as well. So we've got a couple of different options in terms of <clears throat> softs. 
if we want to really maximize our points we need to qualify as high as we can and running on scrubs and just running scrubs is not going to be enough in this session because the tire wear is just too big radio check radio check <clears throat> So we would be well off the pace. And we are potentially if we can if we can just eke out enough over Hamilton and Russell, we are potentially looking at a front row lockout, given that the Red Bulls are gonna get knocked down to the back of the grid. I really hope we can do that. If we can get to the front of the grid or at least on be on the second row. Then uh, then yeah, we can go aggressive off the line and we can try and jump them. on that first lap and then we can control the pace of the Grand Prix at least until the Red Bulls catch us up so here we go this is our chance effectively for the front row because we're taking the Red Bulls out of the equation they're all going to be running scrubs for their second run so they're not going to be improving So Russell is our target because we've got enough pace to beat Leclerc. Can we beat Russell? Track is at its absolute grippiest. Nice little slipstream here for Freddy. Not going purple in any sectors, but that's not surprising. We do not have the pace of those Red Bulls. But again, I now have no idea whether I'm up or not on Russell. All I know is that, you know, I'm setting personal bests. But given that this is our only lap, that's completely meaningless information. couldn't quite get Russell but that's good that's still good that's ahead of Leclerc so we're gonna start second and third so we'll have one car on the front row one on the second row for tomorrow's race that's not bad eight tenths off uh, using the slipstream so going by Felipe's pace um, nearly a second, nine tenths off off Max for snapping. So yeah, if he's going to lap about a second a lap quicker than us, that tells you uh, just how fast he's going to cut through the field. Has arrived, and the time has come for these drivers to fight it out wheel to wheel. There was some good work from Aston Martin during the qualifying session, and they will go to the grid full of confidence. Mercedes earned themselves a solid position on the grid here during qualifying. Let's hope they can make the most of it at the race start. A sunny day here with only a few clouds in the sky. If things stay this way, the weather should impose any challenges for the team. No doubt there's a lot to contend with here at the United States Grand Prix. It's going to be a thrilling outcome to a thrilling weekend. Okay, so this is a three-stop, sorry, a three-stop. This is a, a, a two-stop race, three sets of tyres in total. Question is, do I go medium, medium, hard, which is what the AI is almost certainly going to do, or do I go medium, hard, medium? I 
I do have an extra set of mediums. I think I'll go with the medium hard medium. I want that extra grip at the start, so I'm starting on mediums. It's just, I think I'll go to the hards for the middle stint. And if we get a safety car somewhere around lap 25, then uh, we can convert to a three stop. So we'll just plan for that eventuality now. So we'll do a safety car somewhere around about here. And then we can do that. Do I have an extra set of hard tyres? No, I don't. Didn't think I did. So yeah, uh, we'll go with the medium hard medium. If I'd had the extra uh, extra hard tyres, that would have probably given me a bit of better flexibility. Um, it is what it is, though. Do I want to take fuel out? Um, I don't really want to be pushing the tyres on this circuit. So burning off excess fuel is going to push the tyres. So, yeah, I'm going to take the extra lap out. Uh, we're going to go aggressive with the ERS, but only with the... Uh, ERS again I don't want to push the tires <laughs> uh, did you miss anything in the last 10 minutes no not really uh, the two Red Bulls are starting at the back somewhere. I don't know exactly where yet. We won't know until we get to the grid. So that's uh, advanced us up an extra place. So we're starting second and third. I hope I'm not tempting fate here, but there are quite a few clouds overhead. As we that means Russell is on pole. How far back are the Red Bulls? The Martin. They're in second place on the grid. But that could so easily change in the first few seconds of the race. There's the second Aston Martin. They've managed a third place start for this race, but can they turn it into a win? Will their hard work pay off today? Sit tight and get ready. It's the I see one of them at the back. I think the other one is in. And it's lights out. Oh yeah, go. they're both at the back. Oh, okay. So we've got soft tyres at the front. Interesting. Those tyres are going to burn out really quickly. But they are going to be very grippy. As you can see, Leclerc, despite us using battery deployment, just has that grip. A position there. And we just can't hold him back. So we need to stay with Russell. I think it's going to be very hard to try and get back in front of Leclerc until his tyres start to wear off in about four or five laps. might be able to jump Russell in the braking zone here might be able to jump Leclerc actually as well I'm going to get a slipstream from uh, from Freddy here is that enough to get me alongside it is I'm alongside Leclerc can I keep my foot in still using battery like they've got such grip on those soft tyres. Nicely done. Looks like Aston Martin. 
All right, so we are clear. That's it. And I figure it's probably not worth us pushing the battery anymore until their tyres start to drop, and then we can try and sprint away from them. So uh, we'll let Russell reclaim the lead, which he's going to do with that extra grip. Although well, Freddy is fighting him all the way. It's a race position gained for Mercedes. Leclerc's already starting to drop back. Look at the tyres already. I mean, they started at 80% because they were using scrubs. We might actually drop them straight away here. Uh, the Red Bulls are on mediums. I thought we'd have to wait about five laps. We might only have to wait three laps before these guys' tyres fall off the cliff. Well, I say fall off the cliff, at least, you know, become uncompetitive. We're going to get DRS uh, on the next lap on that back straight as well. So uh, we could jump both our cars past Russell, theoretically, on the next lap. is enabled now. We just need to charge up. This is the area of the track where we're really strong because this is the high speed stuff. And then the one and only medium speed corner. Before the run down to the main straight on the back. And then we get into the low speed corners, which is where we're not as strong. And then it's all low speed corners for the vast majority of the end of this lap as well, which again is not where we're very strong. In terms of cornering, it's our weakest part of the circuit. So just trying to squeeze a little bit more battery in because uh, I think this is the lap that we're going to be able to complete the move. So I want to be able to sprint away. So I want um, Russell to overtake us here because I want the DRS on the back straight. I don't think he's going to be able to get us back. Of energy. Nothing. He's not. <clears throat> okay, that's not ideal. So now we're going to give uh, the DRS to uh, Russell. So, what we'll try and do now then is sprint past him on the start-finish straight. And then see if we can break away <clears throat> in that first sector. So let's go for it now. So use energy if you need it.
And touch wood, we can get him on this straight here. There we go, so Freddy's through. Now I need him to sprint. Aston Martin with a great play there. They've moved up a place. Trying to put Russell under some kind of pressure to get him to maybe drop back a touch. Doing whatever I can just to disrupt him a little bit. So I can get that double slipstream. Russell's tyre should be starting to wear out now. There we go, you're down to 60%. This is where I think the Mercedes has an advantage over us a little bit. Although we do have this nice, fast, sweeping series of corners here. Come on, get him. This is good to come on. Don't think I'm going to be able to break away on this lap. And I don't know if I'm going to have the battery for another lap. We've broken away from Leclerc, he's actually been passed by Norris. Yeah, we're not getting through. Okay, so... I'm going to go back into charge mode. Oh, and that is Norris and the Ferrari of Leclerc coming together. Is that a safety car? So Leclerc's locked up. And that's going to ruin Leclerc's race and it's going to help out the, uh, the Red Bulls that are 14th and 15th fighting their way through. We've now got Hamilton in fourth place. He's the big uh, beneficiary of that little coming together, although he is under pressure from Ricardo. Go, Honey Badger. Evening, Mr. Water. Good to see you. Uh, yes, feeling much, much better today. That's Norris and Leclerc in the pits. Uh, we've got a three and a half second gap, so we can afford to just sit here and charge for a couple of laps. I'm going to actually go into fuel saving for a lap as well. Because Russell's pace is going to start dropping off now. Uh, Honey Badger is the nickname for Daniel Ricciardo.
God, be careful I don't get dropped. Should be okay. You're going to have to look at why. It's because he's Australian. <laughs> and he's, he's um, well, at least he used to be. He's not quite so much anymore, but, um, you know, fierce competitor. You know, uh, he was always, you know, lunging in the braking zones, you know, late braking. Uh, he was very aggressive, you know, in the braking zones, which, you know, honey badger is a very aggressive animal. So that's probably why. That's probably why they called him the Honey Badger. Uh, that was Sykes boxing, so I think that's just a tyre change because his tyres are dying, which means Russell is probably coming in at the end of this lap. Which means, uh, you know, we'll be back on normal fuel burn and our batteries will be pretty much fully charged as well so that's kind of worked out quite nicely we had just enough pace to stay you know uh, with the charge and the fuel saving to stay with Russell in there uh, to get the DRS and uh, we've done some nice little saving there we've got another lock up behind us That's a Williams, I think. Is that a lock -up? Yep. Let's That's Joe. Look. Let's take another look. There we have Joe. Well, they've locked oh, he's clipped. They won't have been happy about that. Is that Sonoda? No, it's Albon. Sonoda's not in this, is it? I keep forgetting Sonoda's a free agent. Uh, he's staying out for another lap. Russell stays out. Okay. So we've got one more lap of saving then. Ricardo is closing. I do need to be wary of that. So we saved about half a kilo of fuel. Just doing that uh, couple of laps of fuel saving there. You can stop lifting coast. Bobby. Now I'm expecting Russell to box. No saving Oops. required. Bobby. Uh, the Red Bulls. Up to 10th and 11th now. And they're only uh, seven and a half seconds behind. And Russell is staying out for another lap. So we absolutely have to overtake him this lap. That's not overtaking him. Uh, okay, so I'm going to have to... Oh, God damn it. Is that both our cars out? It is. Both our cars are out. Let's see what happened there. So this was the Aston Martin. So one driver's locked up and taken out everybody. Felipe has killed his teammate. There. Oh, there's chaos on the track. And clobbered the, the crap track. out of uh, Russell, but Russell's still going. Here's the replay. Let's have a look here. This was the Aston Martin. He came from a Freddy's long way back as well. Man. Yeah, that's, that's instant retirement for Freddie. We've got a safety car, which is going to help everybody who's on the softs. Uh, it's going to royally screw over uh, Felipe in terms of strategy. We need to retire the car. 
I have to make this change now. That's my best set of softs. That's terrible. I've got mm, chassis damage as well as front wing damage, and I've got a penalty because I took out my teammate. Ugh, it's not good, is it? Uh, car parts, new front wing. Box, box. Yeah, copy, box. At least we can serve the penalty under the safety car, so we won't lose out even you know horrendously bad compared to where we were but we're still going to drop down a lot of positions the rebels are fourth and fifth ah oh, god damn didn't take them long did it so another race where we had a massive opportunity to outscore mercedes and once again Our drivers have done something a bit fucky. <laughs> Driver shenanigans strike again. I'm seriously worried about next season now. With a car that's going to be even faster. something I want to see next season uh, next game as well front wing animations uh, I'm gonna make it out ahead of Leclerc just and I'm out ahead of Norris yeah take it easy yeah Good. It's not that X-rated. I'm not flashing you. So Ricardo is in the lead, but that's not going to last very long. Safety car will be in this lap. Love it. Let's take a look at the tyre situation. So Joe Albon need to box soon. Stroll, Vettel, Alonso, Perez, Verstappen, Gasly and Ricardo are going to need to box soon. Everyone else has made at least one stop. Uh, we've got two more to make if we want to try and maximize the uh, the tire pace here Shall we get a good restart Love it. Used energy Love it. at least I, I can push this sort of hands okay, copy. pick up the pace a bit yeah, 
and on a positive note we've saved pretty much all the fuel we need to save as well <laughs> so <laughs> Uh, Schadenfreude is, uh, yeah, taking pleasure from other people's misery. It's basically watching a fails video and, and having a good old time. Doing a good job, that's going to help you. <laughs> but Schadenfreude is a little bit more, like I think, mean-spirited. just gained the race position than just, you know, watching a, you know, a funny fails compilation. If I'm, if I'm right in that, Farah, I think Schadenfreude is where you actively take delight in it. You know, in a kind of mean-spirited way. with a great play there. They've moved up a place. All right. It's a nice, aggressive uh, first lap of the restart. Let's try and dive up the inside. That's Russell, right in front of us, so... Uh, just keep doing what he's definitely lost out from the collision as well. All right, Stroll is holding up this little train of cars in front of us. Which potentially gives us an opportunity to uh, launch a sneak attack. We're going to recharge. Cool the tyres down a little bit. Make sure we can stay with the group and then try and pick people off. We're getting into the stint of cars in front having uh, fresh tyres. So uh, Russell, Magnussen, Ocon, all three of the cars in front of us are on brand new tyres. Oh, Schumacher came lunging at us there, that <laughs> got me worried. So it's going to be very hard to uh, try and bully our way through against uh, much grippier tyres than us. We're going to have to uh, pick our moments here.
Everyone moving around, trying to get into the slipstream. Can't afford to get taken by Schumacher here. And I need to get past Stroll as quickly as I can. I'm getting boxed in behind Stroll. And there is the difference in grip. You see the way Schumacher just accelerated through on the inside there. That's the difference in mediums against hards. At least we'll get clear of Stroll and we can use Schumacher as a bridge now to close back in on Russell and co. Oh God, it's another lockup and that's it. Let's race over. That's a broken suspension slash chassis. That's game over. Major chassis damage. Both collision. our cars are out. Ah, <sighs> wow. Okay. A terrible, terrible day at the races. <laughs> Both our drivers are gone. It's another safety car. It's going to shake the field up a little bit. That gives all the drivers who stayed out on mediums a free pit stop, effectively. We've now got a penalty again. So both our drivers are going to start with penalties in the next Grand Prix as well. And potentially that is um, parts destroyed as well. So uh, I think... I think when it comes to next race at Mexico, Mexico, I may just say fuck it and throw on brand new parts. You know, brand new engine, brand new gearbox, brand new ERS, and just start from the back. Um, yeah, not a great night. <laughs> it's going to be a short one tonight, <laughs> unless we keep watching. Um, do you guys want to see the end of the, the end of the race? If you do, we'll keep it going, but. Let's, um, we've got to simulate through to the end of the race anyway. Uh, so let's, uh, let's run at times four and just keep an eye on this. And then if we see any exciting action, you know, brewing, then, uh, we can kind of, uh, cut back. Get this safety car out of the way though. Okay, so here we go, the restart. Oh, look who's leading! <laughs> oh, that's it, we're definitely watching this now. <laughs> I, and, you know, I really don't want Hamilton to win this race because I don't want Hamilton to score, you know, uh, massive points for Mercedes. <laughs> Russell's back up to fifth now as well. Rebels are running 9th and 11th. So yeah, just for Farrow, we're going to run we're going to run the ham cam for the rest of the night. There's a word beginning with C in your head. Is it uh, champion? Classy driver. Conqueror of people's hearts.
Who knows? Right, let's uh, run at times two for a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure whether I should actually show that comment. <laughs> yeah, it's great. We'll show it. But I do get the feeling I was just called a very nasty word. <laughs> Oh, not me, Lewis. Okay. <sighs> Verstappen up to eighth. Perez in eleventh. Russell's up to fourth. He's got past Doc on. So, yeah, this isn't good. Uh, I still think Verstappen's going to win this Grand Prix. Um, Perez potentially can fight his way through uh, and take second. Um, but I think Hamilton is probably going to get to the podium. He's going to get third spot. That Mercedes is just better than the Ferrari. And the only reason Hamilton's under pressure right now is uh, just wasn't quite able to open up a big enough gap before the DRS kicked in. And here's a chance. As Bottas sneaks it up the inside. And there's Russell. I think of all the the races that we've run, I think this is the first time that both of our drivers have retired. At least this early in a Grand Prix. They might have done it once before, but towards the very end of a Grand Prix where we just set this in the last few laps. But I can't think of another race off the top of my head that we've streamed where both drivers have gone. Oh, some canny defending from Bottas there. The snapper now up to 7th, Perez up to 10th. Leclerc's looking vulnerable. Did he get DRS? No, he didn't, so he's about to get overtaken. Perez stays tucked up, but Leclerc, because he didn't have the DRS, lost half a second on that straight. So he's just going to get picked off by Perez here on this back straight here.
There he goes. So that's Perez up to ninth. That's who I think is going to win the Grand Prix there. Max. You see he's not that far behind uh, the front two now already. Just two and a half seconds off the lead. And we know how quick that car is with that new engine and new ERS module. It was, what, nine tenths faster than everybody else in quality. So, yeah. <laughs> Very, very quick. It's kind of boxed in at the moment, though. And there we go. He's past uh, Ocon, so he's up to sixth. Hamilton back into the lead. slow down a bit Russell's going to be a bit more of a challenge but oh got to lock up in sector 3 that's sector 1 not sector 3 that is Norris I think maybe oh, we've had a spin. oh no oh, Bottas has let's spun now, let's watch turn 7 that's sector one. 1 it's the end of sector 1 but it's sector oh, dear, 1 oh, dear. The car's just gone. and that takes a bit of pressure off Hamilton and the team had such high hopes today and with the field still pretty close together, that's going to drop Bottas right down the field as well. He's down in 12th now. Just ahead of Vettel. Four and a half seconds off his teammate. Back on the ham cam. So yeah, this is not looking good for us because uh, Mercedes currently running 1-3 in this Grand Prix. Um, it's not ideal. Like I said, I still think Verstappen's going to win, but... Perez will probably get second. He's not that far off as well. There he is. But Mercedes will end up third and fourth, I think. Which is going to be... Another 14 points for them. So having fought all that way to close the gap. Uh, we are now going to lose 14 points. It says 16 at the moment because of Hamilton in the lead. But yeah, 14 points. Is that right? No, it'll be 6 and... No, it'll be 10 points. 10, 8, 6, 4. So, yeah, they'll gain 10 more points on us. So, they'll be um, on 109 points. That'll be a 17-point gap. Ugh. That's not ideal with three races left after this one. And both our drivers with a minimum of a three-place penalty going into the next Grand Prix. It's been a real change of fortunes, hasn't it? I mean, the first half of the season, they both drove so well. And then ever since the mid-season break, they've just gone to pot. And they've just started making mistake after mistake after mistake. I think I'm going to have to <coughs> really make sure that the brakes are good on the car next season. I'm going to have to put so much focus into brake cooling. 
and uh, I'm gonna have to put more points into their braking as well they just the car is so much faster now than it was at the start of the season and I just I don't think they've got enough skill to, to hang on to it you know uh, not easy to get them the extra skill points they need though when they can't finish the bloody Grand Prix. Perez now up to 7th And Sainz dives into the box. So Hamilton's probably going to box soon. And so Verstappen's into the lead. It just swoops past him. And he's going to go flying off into the distance now. Watch how quickly that gap opens up. Not only has he got uh, a much, <laughs> much faster car, he's got better tyres at the moment as well. Hamilton's just about going to hang on to the DRS, I think. Magnussen dives into the box, as does Ocon. Hamilton's only just got the DRS. He's not going to have it in the next uh, straightaway. So it's going to be a fight now between Hamilton and Russell for second Perez is closing in as well there's Perez here comes Russell and here comes Perez And Verstappen boxes. Oh, <laughs> nearly a collision between the two Mercedes drivers, both boxing at the same time. Russell sneaking ahead of Hamilton. That's not going to go down well. It's a very early stop for Verstappen. We've got to lock up somewhere. It's Verstappen! Just had a spin. Verstappen it's binned it on the exit of the pits. Oh my seen. god, what is going on? And that spin is undoubtedly gonna cost them time. And that was a bitter blow for the team. <laughs> That's karma bitch slapping you in the face there, Farrow. <laughs> Oh, we've got a full safety car. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to help out Verstappen a little bit. Perez is out. Oh, my God. Let's take a look at the replay. We're just watching the Red Bull. Red Bull just do not want to win this race. A completely unprompted lockup. Bang. That's, yeah, that's, that's a back crash. The team are devastated. So now, yeah, uh, this is going to make things interesting because we're going to see uh, quite a few cars diving into the pits. Um, Ricardo, Alonso, Leclerc, definitely. Look at his tyres. Uh, Vettel's going to pit. Stroll's going to pit. Joe's going to pit. Albon's probably going to pit. Gasly might even pit. Um, this could actually hurt Mercedes quite badly. Those three that have just pitted, they should come out ahead of the two Mercedes. Or at least ahead of Hamilton anyway. Uh, Gasly goes through, so he's not boxing yet. That's going to ruin his race because he's still going to have to box some, you know, soon after the safety car comes in. Uh, there to go, Joe and Stroll. Albon's staying out, so Albon's race is ruined as well. 
And yeah, Alonso, Leclerc, Ricardo all got out ahead of Russell. So that's good for me because <laughs> that has uh, put cars between Mercedes and winning this race. This happens up to 13th again. But he's got a lot of harder, he's got harder work to do this time because uh, Bottas, Hamilton, Ocon, even Magnussen, those guys have got quick, you know, fairly quick cars and they're all on brand new tyres. So it's not going to be the cakewalk that it was last time. He'll still cut his way through the field, but it will take him longer to do so, I think. And uh, I think Russell will be able to get on the podium. I don't know about Hamilton now. Might be Sainz. Might be Ricardo. Might even be Alonso. You never know. It's just, it's kind of a crazy, crazy kind of situation right now. And we get another safety car. Who knows? Let's speed up the safety car. I kind of wish I was still in this race just because of the drama. Yeah, this could have put us right back into contention for the win. Well, I say the win for the podiums. And the uh, spare a thought now for Gasly and Ocon, because uh, not Al Ocon, sorry, Albon. Those guys are, are, are just you know completely shafted now, because they still need to stop. And the whole field is condensed like this, so they're going to lose a huge amount of time. Whereas everybody else is probably going to the end of the Grand Prix now. So yeah, Gasly and uh, Albon will go on to mediums. But they're going to lose 20 odd seconds in the pits. And then they're going to be behind, you know, they're going to be uh, trying to chase a, uh, a big DRS train. Another lockup somewhere, or just someone running wide, probably. Look at that. Yeah, run Magnuson wide. running a little bit wide. Let's have a look. All eyes on Kevin Magnuson here. They've gone wide. They won't he got away with that. Gasly's already down to third place. Albon's probably going to get past very soon. It's just got such a grip deficit. Oh, that's a Ferrari. That's Leclerc throwing himself off. I think there's been a lockup. Let's see what happened there. Okay, here's the Ferrari. Just They've pinches his brakes. And that's him down to the back of the grid. Verstappen's up to 10th. He's behind Hamilton. He's right behind him. Wow. Look how quickly Verstappen has fought his way through. I thought it would take him longer to get through the field than that. I really did. There's no questioning that Hamilton is definitely being hurt, stuck behind Albon here. He's got up the inside. He's going to have the DRS as well, so he'll, he'll stretch his, his legs here. But Verstappen's going to follow him through, and then Verstappen's probably going to nab him on the start-finish straight. Oh, 
And we have 21 laps to go. Once we cross the line. Here comes Max. Straight at the outside there. And that two and a half second gap to Archon is going to just disappear so quickly. Ricardo and Science have now pulled out a four second gap over Gasly, who's holding up the rest of the field. And Verstappen took over a second out of Ocon on that lap. Uh, Alonso gets through on Gasly. Let's uh, focus on Gasly for a little bit. He's going to be boxing soon. Tires are down to 48%. Next lap, I think. He's about to get swallowed up here by uh, Russell and Magnussen. It just holds Magnussen back. Now you can see Gasly doing 140s, 140.3s, Ricardo over a second faster. And already Russell has opened up a one and a half second gap. Yeah, he's not boxing yet, so... What, 16 laps to go, is he? Surely he's not going to go on to softs at the end. He's only made the one stop. Norris has made five stops! Five! My God! Oh, and Gasly's holding up Magnussen. Verstappen got through against Ocon. I missed that. Ocon trying to fight back. And he has done, just about. And there goes Gasly into the box. So that's going to free up everybody to just swarm on through. As we go back to the ham cam. Russell up to third now. Is he lapping faster? He's got Alonso just behind him. So Gasly and Album have made their stops, but uh, yeah, they're uh, a long way off. Gasly at least has managed to kind of get himself out around the back of Norris, but Albon has just suffered really badly. He will lap fast, but will he be able to catch up or not? Uh, so, uh, Sainz and Ricardo doing around about a 138.6. If you try and take DRS into, into the uh, uh, equation, Russell lapping slightly quicker. 
and with Alonso going with him and DRS swapping with him, yeah, Russell is potentially on for uh, the podium, you know, a uh, high podium. Uh, Verstappen is now clear of Magnussen. Ricardo win this race I, mean, I don't think he could it's not impossible Verstappen has set the fastest lap he's now broken DRS to Magnussen as well so uh, Magnussen is now going to be vulnerable to Ocon So Verstappen is eight and a half seconds off the lead right now. And uh, he's doing half a second faster than Ricardo and Sainz. So... <sighs> Might catch him. Depends how quickly he can get through Alonso and uh, Russell. Those two scrapping is going to make things tricky. Potentially. Uh, Russell does not appear to be closing the gap. It's so hard to tell with, you know, these DRS position swaps. Maybe, maybe he's closing slightly. I'm not sure. I mean, it's still about four and a half seconds, so not really. Verstappen's closing. He's definitely closing. Hamilton's getting dropped as a result. He's still stuck behind Ocon, who's still stuck behind Magnussen. Ocon going to go around the outside, maybe. Yes, he is. All right, Magnussen's going to get the DRS, and he's got the position as well. He's going to stretch away. Ocon is now vulnerable to Hamilton. The slipstream is the only thing that saved Ocon there. We have 11 laps to go. <clears throat> and uh, I don't think Verstappen is actually going to have the pace to catch. I don't know. It's going to be close. It's going to be tight. He might just do it. Like I said, it all depends on how quickly he can find his way through. Let's uh, ride on board with, uh, or, you know, follow Russell here as he fights with Alonso. Verstappen is right on the back of him now. They have closed the gap by about half a second to uh, Sainz and Ricardo. But if those two keep swapping positions on that back straight, which is what they have been doing, then that will help keep the gap a little bit more stable. Russell goes through. Sight's not able to get it past Ricardo, so that should theoretically close the gap a touch. And this is where Verstappen needs to clear these guys quickly if he's going to stand the chance of winning this Grand Prix. Nine laps left. That is Stroll making a mistake. Looks like there's been a lockup. Slides and Ricardo scrapping and swapping DRS, and that's allowing them to stretch the gap a little bit more. 
with everyone stuck behind Russell. So this is Russell fighting for his podium because if uh, Verstappen gets past Alonso, Verstappen takes third place and then potentially can challenge for second or even first. But he's got to get past Alonso. If he, if, he, uh, if he can't, if Alonso stays with Russell and doesn't let Verstappen through, then Russell will probably hold on for third. You can see Alonso dropping back a little bit as he's under pressure from, from Max. Having to go a bit defensive. But he's lining up a move. Alonso's going to get the DRS. He's got the inside line as well. So is Max going to... Max could take up both of them here. And he does. Max is going to get through. Although Alonso's going to have the DRS here. Max could lose both places again. No, he's, uh, Alonso's not going through, which means Russell's not getting through either. So that's it. Verstappen's on the podium and... Russell's chances of a podium are gone. Unless the snap and drags them along onto the back of Ricardo and Sainz. This is going to be a, a real barnstormer finish here. We're going to have uh, five cars scrapping for the win. And all five of them are going to be different manufacturers as well, different teams. A Ferrari, a Red Bull. Oh, got a yellow flag somewhere. That's uh, Magnussen. That's a spin. Having a little adventure. There is the train. It's a coming. As Ricardo shoots on through now into the lead. Alonso is not letting Verstappen break away. Hamilton still behind Ocon. But with Magnussen out of the way, he should be able to make that move now. And there we go. A quick look at the ham cam sees him swoop through into sixth place. So that's extra points now for Mercedes that uh, I don't want them to have. Max has got the gap down to less than two seconds. But Alonso's keeping that pressure on and it's stopping Max from really sprinting, you know, onto the back of the uh, the cars in front. He's have to keep go defensive in these corners. <laughs> Excuse me. Can we stop with the ham cam? <laughs> well, we've been riding with Russell for, for ages. As Norris boxes for stop number six. This is going to be for a set of soft tyres. This is probably going to be fastest lap. I don't know. Well, Gasly's got it at the moment. So, yeah, this is probably going to be fastest lap for Norris. The Chevy's on softs. He is. And the gap is now one and a half seconds. Here we go. Five car fight for the lead is brewing. I say five car fight for the lead. It's not really, but 
<laughs> this is two cars desperately trying to stop Max from getting past them. Oh, can Ricardo win this in a McLaren? What a contrast in the team's fortunes. You've got one driver who is in with a chance of winning the Grand Prix, another one who is half a minute behind his closest rival, which is Alex Albon. At the very back of the field. Here comes Sainz. And Max is in the DRS now. Come on, Ricardo. <clears throat> oh, Max could take them both hit. I think he will. Max just dives up the inside and takes the pair of them. There's three wide. That's never good. It's not over yet, though. It's still another lap to go after this one. Ricardo is close enough to get DRS. Could still spoil Max's day. He's not getting through on this lap. So, realistically, I think his best chance of actually making the pass is going to be on that long back straight. So now he's just got to stay. I mean, he might get him on the main straight, but I don't think he will. So now he's just got to stay close enough through the first sector of the next lap to get the DRS for the long back straight. If he can get that done, he's got a real chance of winning the race. He's going to have a look at the inside. Max holds on for now. Come on, honey badger. This is it. This is his one and only chance. He sweeps on through. Can he hold the position? Come on, Ricardo. Max is going to have a look at the inside, maybe. He does. Come on, Danny Rick. Max is going to be right there. Max is going to steal it. Oh, what a finish. And the top five separated by two seconds in total. Max Verstappen over the finish line and today's winner. Hamilton does come home in sixth place ahead of Ocon. 
both the Alphas closing fast as well. Norris did not have the pace at all, must have damage on the car. Just did not have the pace to uh, take the fastest lap. Maybe he can do it. Oh, yeah, he's got no front wing look. Um, so, uh, Gasly, I think, kept the fastest lap there. We check in one last time with the ham cam. <laughs> uh, what a finish. Verstappen and Ricardo doing battle once more. It's been a long time since we've seen those two, you know, uh, that close. And uh, Danny Rick almost able to hold off uh, Verstappen there, but just couldn't quite, couldn't quite, couldn't quite close the door. Aston Martin's driver. Yeah. <sighs> So, a win for Max, but he had to fight tooth and nail for that. He beat Ricardo by just a tenth of a second. That was a very, very close race at the end. Uh, Russell recovered well to get fourth place, uh, just missing out on the podium. Hamilton in sixth. That's, uh, uh, that's eight more points for uh, Mercedes against us. That's not good. Uh, big points for uh, Alpine as well. Two for Ocon and four for, Alp uh, for Alonso. Gives uh, another six to Alpine. But uh, huge points for uh, for Ricardo there. Eight points for McLaren. That's going to help them out quite nicely. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the damage in the championships. Max reasserts his lead over Sergio. He's now 22 points clear. That's two race wins and a bit. Two race wins and a bit means that unless Verstappen retires at least twice and Sergio wins the next two Grand Prix, it's it's pretty much done and dusted. Um, Max is going to take home uh, another world championship. Leclerc under pressure. From, uh, from Carlos there. No points for Charles Leclerc. Science now just five points behind him. Uh, Russell jumps two places above uh, Lewis and above Felipe. Uh, still very close in this fight, though. Look at this. Just uh, three points separating the two Mercedes and Felipe. Um, could have been a very different story in this race, but... It is what it is. Uh, and Alonso is interjecting himself into that fight as well. He's now closing the gap as well. He's just four points off Felipe uh, and uh, extending his gap over Freddy. So, uh, yeah, a bit of movement up and down the grid. Let's have a look at the constructors. Red Bull have already wrapped up the constructors title, um, but they're just kind of making sure of it now. Uh, Ferrari are pretty much locked out uh, second place now uh yeah they have ferrari are confirmed in second place now it's not enough uh, points available i don't think let's see they are actually no there's 48 points gap uh three races 18 points I'm trying to do some quick mental maths that's 54 points isn't it so it's entirely possible that mercedes could pip ferrari on paper but in reality it's not i don't think it's going to happen uh, Aston Martin, that's us. We are now uh, 15 points off Mercedes. That's that's a big, big gap to overcome in the last three races. Um, I think we have to accept that fourth is the best we're going to get this season now. Uh, this was our chance to really take the fight to Mercedes. And yeah, we, we literally took the fight to Russell, tried to take him out and took ourselves out in the process. Uh, Alpine closing in on us it's just 10 points ahead of, uh, ahead of them now so we might not even finish in fourth we might finish in fifth our target was sixth and we are well clear of sixth place you know we are guaranteed to achieve our lot our season target and it might be better for us you know to actually finish in fifth just so we get those extra hours uh, next season for testing 
but uh, yeah, we'll see how things go. Still picked up a decent chunk of points for our two drivers. Um, good race for Freddy. Impressive race for Felipe. I'm not sure how he got a more impressive result considering he took his teammate out. Uh, maybe just because he ran longer. That's the only thing I can think of. But we do have another point for Freddy. I have to think about where I want to develop that. Uh, we only lost a little bit of money from the sponsors. Uh, we only lost the uh, fastest lap. How did we not fail anything else? Oh, we didn't do the finish position, but that was just an incentive. We did keep the streak going, so that is just one of those weird bugs that we've seen um, where it still counts the position even though neither car finished. So we actually completed the finish position streak and got some, some money. That's quite nice. Uh, the quality streak appears to still be going as well. So we could have lost a, lost out quite a lot there, but we didn't lose out too badly. Right, uh, we've got a new ATR period, so let's put in some serious thought as to what we want to do for next season. Uh, we do have a front wing project going. I might have to do another one. Uh, let me take a look where our car currently sits. Uh, brake calling's fifth. And yet they're still making horrible lockups. That's concerning. Right. Uh, eight days until the front wing finishes. That's only a minor project, I think. Yeah, it's a minor project. That is still the only major project we've done in research. So we can't do another major underfloor. Although we wouldn't really have time for another major underfloor, I don't think. Uh, let's go with a rear wing. This is our final ATR period. So these are the final hours that we've got. We're going to throw them all into the rear wing. Try and uh, really improve our straight line speed for next season. There we go. Let's focus on uh, maximizing the downforce across all three branches, whereas previously we've kind of taken a bit off the low and the medium to put more focus on the high speed. I want to really make sure we've got that low speed grip um, from the rear wing for next season. This is going to take 60 days. That leaves me with, oh, that's it. No more engineers available. So that works out really well. There we go. That's our last major upgrade uh, in terms of research because uh, there's no more hours allocated out for the rest of the year. Uh, we do have uh, how many engineers coming up? Front wing is five engineers and that is going until when's that going until? 16th of December. Okay, so What I might do is, as we get closer to the end, I might see if I can sneak an engineer off, off that project to squeeze it onto another one. Uh, but in eight days' time, uh, after Mexico, the front wing research will be done and we'll be able to do something else, uh, focusing on next season. Uh, let's see how bad the damage was to car parts. Oh, look at that. We're down to just two chassis, two front wings, two rear wings and two suspensions, so we wrecked a ton of parts. Oh, that's not good. Uh, so we desperately need new front wings. Um, I'm gonna rush uh, two of them. There we go. Uh, we also need a spare chassis. 
uh, a rush job, five days, as long as we don't put it in the wall at Mexico, then we should be okay. We don't normally hit the wall at that circuit, we just spin or lock up and go into the grass. So I feel confident about just doing a rush job and not an emergency job. We can always do an emergency manufacturer if we need to. Uh, suspension. Um, yeah, we need another suspension as well. That'll take five days. Uh, let's just go for one on a rush job. So we have got that for the next day if we need it. And that's it. I've got no more slots available, which is a shame because I kind of would like a new rear wing as well. Maybe I can emergency manufacture one. Nope. Okay, so we'll, we'll probably have to emergency manufacture a spare rear wing on uh, on the Friday. Okay, don't need any more side pods, don't need any more underfloors. Uh, let's take a look at the engines. So that was uh, an engine that was at about 72% going into that Grand Prix. It's now 56. Thanks to that shunt, that's not great. Uh, and then that engine was 80 something, 81%, 82%, somewhere in that region. I think it was 81. That's down to 75. It's taken a little bit of a knock, but it's not horrendous. So I've got two 75% engines, and I've still got a 95. So I don't need another engine for Felipe. ERS modules. That's 61, that's okay. Uh, and I've still got spare modules here. Uh, let's take a look at gearboxes. Uh, that is down to 52%. Okay, as long as we don't have another wreck, that gearbox will get us through the next three races and that will be a practice gearbox. Uh, the other car... That's down to 58 already as well, but again, we should just about have enough gearboxes to get us through. So, do I want to throw on a new engine? For the last three races. I've got an engine that's nearly new, so yeah, we'll uh, we'll stick with this. If we have another crash, then yeah, we'll have to take another engine, but we'll try and not take penalties to minimize how far down the grid we're going to drop. At the moment, both drivers are dropping down three places for the next race. Uh, what are the board going to say about this? They're probably going to be disappointed with this result. Yes, disappointed. <laughs> I'm I'm slightly more than disappointed. I'm uh, spitting teeth. <laughs> Furious with my drivers right now. But what can you do? Uh, let's take a look at uh, what we can do in terms of uh, facilities. Uh, is anything about to break? The wind tunnel is about to break. The suspension simulator is about to break. The car park test center is not too far off as well. Uh, Boardroom's already maxed. So that's about to break. Uh, hospitality is being worked on. Weather center is going through a refurb right now. Everything else is okay. Tour center will go soon. All right, let's uh, advance some time. There we go. So we've got some spare front wings and a spare suspension. Let's make sure that I don't forget to do the uh, spare rear wing. Shouldn't need a rear wing, but we'll we'll knock one out just in case. The way our drive's been destroying the cars in this this last half a dozen races uh yeah it's just yeah you never know uh let's have a look at some points to spend i know i've got a point with freddy uh let's see uh i, I really want to work on his cornering and his re reactions but i'm gonna have to put the points into braking i'm gonna have to push their braking up to 85 i think to get them 
comfortable for next season. Um, or a bit more comfortable. No points for Andrew Green <clears throat> or Alessandro. Uh, no points for our engineers. Our pick crew. Yeah. Slowly coming along. Uh, scouting team. I'm at Max Scouts at the moment. I think that is everything that we can get done. Uh, there's the boardroom breaking, so let's give that a refurb. There we go. Back to the inbox. Oh, lots of emails to have a look at. Uh, there's the spare suspension, front wing, sport confidence. We still have high confidence from the board, which is what I expected. You know, they suddenly were considering firing me after one race uh, where both our drivers failed to finish, then, uh, yeah, that would not be good. Not be good at all. Right. That is uh, pretty much everything we can get done tonight. Uh, there's nothing left for us to do now other than uh, go murder our two drivers. <laughs> Uh, yeah, not a great race for us. Uh, an exciting finish to the race. Um, just a shame we weren't really part of that. Uh, hopefully tomorrow things will go better. Uh, this is a circuit where uh, we should be quick. At least in places, anyway. Um, there is uh, an interesting mix of corners. Uh, some low speed stuff, which is not great for us, but some medium speed stuff, some high speed stuff. Some very long straights. Uh, and we've got some brand new-ish engines to throw in as well. So, uh, yeah, touch wood, we can be a little bit more competitive next time out. And hopefully both our cars will finish in the points. Hopefully both our cars will finish. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, so, until then, thanks for watching. I am Jumbob, and I'll be back with some more F1 Manager Challenge Mode very soon.